Here's Dave wants to add something. Go ahead, Dave. Oh. Yeah, what's up, guys? I just uh, was saying JJ last night was promoting Ron Fezzi on uh, JetsInsider.com. Wow, rocking the JetsInsider.com. Uh, again, there cannot be a moment of Jay's life that isn't recorded. It has to. He has to be on radio, TV, in a movie, online, whatever it happens. I cannot believe he doesn't have pal talk. I can't believe that it's not. There's just not a camera following him at all times. So uh, JetsInsider uh, dot com. Uh, Jay was promoting us. That's sweet. That's a big. Is that website. him back or no? I can't tell. Because you just have stars up. Hey, Jay. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the uh, the uh, Jets Insider uh, plug last night you gave us. Well, there was a whole thread about, you know, another radio show. Uh-huh. And then I just typed in, Ron and Fez, noon to three. What are we all talking about here? <laughs> I like it. Thank you. I like Let's it, bro. Let's talk about what's really happening right it, now. Yeah. Fact that Fez is somehow third Mike on his own show. Oh jeez, why would no, you no, break? No, it's true. You know you're just going to upset him, and no, he just winced. Fez. Fez, did that hurt you? That hurt. Why? That hurt. Be- um, Fez, I take it back. Why did it hurt, Fez? Because I start to think it's true. Can you guys call me whenever Fez is going to do a drunk show so I don't miss it? What is it, Fez? What, what's Jay doing to you? No, there's nothing wrong. Jay's absolutely right. Hey, Fez, I got East Coast dates coming up. I'd love it if you could be a part of the celebration. Why are you doing that to him? Why are you doing what? that to him? What am I doing? What's I'm going inviting on, him to a show. What's going on, Fez? There's not even a joke to it. Well, it's funny. It's just I mean, there. It's a, a callback. <laughs> it's a callback. No, I'm not. I'm actually not kidding, Ronnie. I'm doing the uh, the Count Basie Theater in Jersey and stuff. So you know, you guys. Could, I know Davey is a Jersey boy. So <laughs> you know, let's all hang out. I would love that, Jay. I love the yeah, song. I don't, know, I don't know when I ask some people, they get upset. Usually, it's just matter of fact, like either yeah or no. So. You, you why would you it? call and make him cry today? What's in it for you, Jay? I don't know what he gets out of it. He enjoys it. This. I did nothing right now to make Fez cry, so I, I can't help you guys with that. He's, what did he I'm say that made you cry? Up. I'm not getting the third mic up thing. in a radio bit where Fez cries. You're not, it's a bit, Fez? No, it's not a bit. Not at well, all. Right. No, it's all not right. a bit because it's not even. A, it wasn't even a funny line. It was just meant to hurt. Well, that's kind of funny that a TV star would just say something to hurt your feelings. You can't claim that that's not funny. (laughs) That a guy who's got his own TV show just calls to fucking hurt your feelings. There's some comedy to that. By the way, Jay, have you seen this Eastbound and Down show yet? I like it. I don't love it. I know you love it. Love it. But I just, you know, swearing in front of kids is kind of like the only gag. and I I I love that. I, I'm uh, I'm in the minority on this one. I know you guys love it. I certainly like it. By being in the minority, you mean that you're a Jew? No, Jews are not the minority anymore, Ronnie. I well, live in L.A. They're the majority. Yeah. <laughs> Us Catholics, we're the minority. Oh. Did you know, do you watch uh, Breaking oh, Bad, Ronnie? Uh, yeah, I just had the guy in the other day. Amazing. Uh, yeah, it's an unbelievable show. Uh, some of the best acting I've seen in a very, very long time. And I'm including Pluto Nash. Well, and you were in that. Um, but I agree with you. I think this this guy, his name is Brian Cranston. He's he's done this show twice. Phenomenal actor. And the show is almost too intense for TV. What is it, Fez? You still going back to that thing that Jay did? I'm just still thinking about it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not commenting on that. I can't take it. It's too bizarre. But you do it on purpose, Jay. No, you call up, you break chops, everyone has a good time. And yeah, he is right about, about that. He yes, right in a fun that. way, not yeah. in a just straight out, let's see, let's well, say the coolest separate, thing I can. There should be a separate human resources person just for your feelings on call at all times. Because everyone else, like Dave gets branded and gets called, you know, lucky boy and gets feces thrown and allegedly. And all crazy things happen and, you know, everybody takes their lumps and then all of a sudden like one sentence gets said... And it's rubble. What's that mean? 
What's like the... there's rubble on the ground. Like there's... Oh, okay. Oh. I thought you meant Barney. I yeah. really didn't know where you were going with that. That I turn into Barney Rubble. That's what I was thinking. So what I was saying when my phone call got cut out was I know all the housewives, Orange County, New York, and Atlanta. I love that show. I know every single person on the Food Network. I don't miss anything, Ronnie B. You know, you are honestly, and I hate to tell you this, you're probably just one hit TV show away from being blowhard. You lose this show, and you're just going to be living in Brooklyn. I will never live in Brooklyn. Hmm. All right, Jay. All right, bud. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. Peace. Buzzy, what goes on between you and him? Honestly, is it a bit? No, it's not a bit. What I, as, as I sit here and think about it, I think he's still mad at me over what happened with me and his wife years ago. Even though he says everything's forgiven and she says everything's forgiven. Why, why didn't you say that to him? I just now thought of it. So you made a pass at her. So what? These things happen. But I don't think it's really forgiven. I think he still, I think he still holds a grudge. Hmm. You want to bring him in for a sit down? Have Jay Moore in for an after-show uh, meeting sit-down? Might be the way to go. Everybody's trying to say something nice to his wife. She's a beautiful woman. I told her, call me Ron Ron. I go, call me Ron Ron from ronfez.net. Did it work? <laughs> yeah, she know. doing it? No. That, Jay, that Jay and her, that, that's, a special, that's a special relationship. <laughs> You're not going to get another one of those, Fez. Those two are happy together. Uh, here is... Um, Here's Josh. Josh, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, I'll watch uh, the baby show. Casey tells us how many guys she banged. Oh, come on. That's just rude. Jesus Christmas, now, mister. If anybody should start sobbing, it's Dave after that thing. Fez, he looking at him uh-huh. now. All he does hey! is... Hey! <laughs> Nothing gets under my skin! <laughs> Happy Hang Hungry just entered the room. No, I mean, uh, yeah, Fez, don't listen to Jay. You're a, you're, you're, you're a bigger star than him. Uh, Richie boy, Richie boy, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah, Fezzy, man, I'm with you a hundred percent, man. Don't don't get, don't get yourself upset, but uh, Jay clearly calls to stab at you and to instigate emotional feelings. I don't think, I think so. Right. I think so now. I he didn't invited think so you to he, he invited you before really to come hang out with him at some casino. A lot of us love you, Fez. A lot of us love you, and those of us who love you think. That we can see through that Jay, and that Jay Moore, he's he's got some he's got some stuff for you. He's he's coming for you. Thank you, Richie boy. I didn't think so before. Today I do. Today I think he just. I think the guy's just really mad at me still. Oh, we're all mad at you. <laughs> so what? Don't make a big deal out of it. You let us all down. So what? Who cares? <laughs> uh, coming up at two o'clock, a major comedian is uh, stopping by the Ron and Fez show. Let's just hope this isn't a major comedian that's going to make Fez Watley cry. I would hope not. And it's probably a major comedian that doesn't have a grudge against me. Hopefully. I don't think Jay has a grudge against you. I don't think he. I don't think he's gotten over what happened between me and his wife. Well, why don't you let us in on that? Because we don't know what you're talking about. Jay had been calling me and leaving voicemail messages on my phone. Yeah. So what happened was, you know, I, you know, I would tell everyone, I go, Jay left a voice message for me. I get another message from him saying, "Hey, how come you don't play my voice messages on the air?" Mm-hmm. And so I said, "Oh, okay, I will. I'll let everybody in on it." Then I got one from his wife. I thought I had permission to play voicemails on the air. I played hers. Hi, Mr. Watley. This is Nikki Cox, also known as Mrs. Moore. My husband has been trying to reach you, and I'm sure you think he's going to be like a weirdo or be funny or pestering or anything, something like that, but I promise you he's not. He's kind and gentle. And very, very smart and helpful. So call him back and he will be nothing but kind and dear, I swear. Otherwise, marry the guy. Call him back. And by the way, I think you're the very. And half of the stuff that you say that you're going through, I completely get and relate to. So call my husband back if you're so inclined. I hope you're well. I hope you have a nice day. 
She got very upset with me. I apologize. I thought there was a reconciliation. You know, I was told, don't worry about it. Apology accepted. But after today, I'm pretty certain apology not accepted. Well, I don't know how you made that leap, though. Because he says things purposely, not even in a funny way, to hurt me. Mm. Out. Just go exactly for what he knows will just crush me. What did he say to you today? Uh, Fez's third mic on his own show. <laughs> just got a major laugh. <laughs> Appreciate it out of the bleachers. No, you just said it wasn't funny. And then everybody I didn't think it bleachers, was. But everybody in the bleachers just laughed. Maybe it's how you tell it. <laughs> yes. That's the thing. Uh, here's Jay Moore called back in. Hey, JJ. I just called Dr. Davy Mack off the air, and my only question was, is Fez for real? Like, is he serious about all this? And yes. And Mack said, yeah. And now Fez says yes. Fez. I think you're amazing. I listen to the show every day, and then I go online and I read Fez's line of the day. I read Ron's line of the day. Mm. You could not have anyone more happy for you when things go well and feel lousy when things aren't going well than me. I think you're fantastic. And when I call up, and I, br- I mean, I used to call and tell Dave I was going to kick his ass when I saw him in the street. He didn't freak out. He, it, he just... It's just guys breaking balls. And you know what, Fez? I won't do it anymore because if you, as a friend, can't tell the difference between when I'm joking and when I'm not, then I'm going to change what I can change. And I'm just not going to talk to you that way. And we'll just keep it cool, and it's no big deal. But I've never had any ill will at you at all. So that's why I always thought when you were crying and stuff, it came so out of left field that I thought maybe it was even a radio bit. No, it's not. And I thought uh, what you said today, I didn't take as a joke, honestly. But now when you hear this, it feels like you kind of lost somewhat of a friendship. You know what well, I'm we saying? Mm-hmm. A friendship. We were just, it was like, we were like, you know, we met each other, we're cordial, we're friendly, we're friends. We've never hung out. I would love to. I invited him to a show and that made him cry for some reason. And uh, Fe, you're doing. Well, I couldn't you- make it. And then you kept forcing the issue. Like you kept doing it until I cried. I forced it, or the circus that we call the show forced it? I think you did. I think it was a group effort on that, Fez. People saying, hey, you know, you should go, and then callers calling and saying and piling on. You really should go. (laughs) Fez, you have to understand, you're talking to someone who is in the grips of panic for the better part of a decade. I know a lot of, I don't have depression, but I know a lot of what you feel. And when I was leaving those phone messages and stuff, I was reaching out, like like how I would reach out to somebody that I knew was having a problem that I could possibly help with, because it's a problem, I'm talking about panic, that when you have it, there's a certain shame or like this taboo that goes with it, and you are very hesitant. Fez, let me just point it. out, here we are all breaking balls, having fun earlier. Mm-hmm. Now we're all in this serious conversation. Right. Your job to be on the air is to be the fun guy, right? The funny guy. Yes. Why are you bringing it back to this? Why wouldn't you have said something about Jay, uh, you know, a couple hours ago? Why does it keep coming? And you're also put on this thing that Jay didn't get over something that happened that was like two. I think before Dave even joined the show, wasn't it, Jay? Uh, Dave? Whatever. The, the, no, no, I was, I was there at that point. when you started? Yeah. What are you getting out of this? No, I'm just trying to explain. You, you know, it's like that. Did I think Jay really, you know, tried to be mean? And I thought he did. And that was no. that was the reason I thought he was trying to be mean to me, that he's still mad at me over this thing with his wife. Who's going to remember? Then I, I apologize because I absolutely was not trying to be mean. And I'm not really mean to anybody. No, you're the best person I ever met. And Well, you're the, different. You're the best person I've ever see, met. Ron didn't just get mad when I said that. Mm. A little bit. I'm a little hurt. Says, here's the thing. Uh, I think you're fantastic. And when the thing when I was calling you was because I was reaching out to help. And I left and I don't care at all about that. When you say like is Jay mad about that? I was never mad. I just thought I wasn't sure if you guys were parlaying it into a bit because when I was leaving messages and explaining my own issues with panic disorder, they were getting played on the air and I thought You wow, told you know, me to play them on the air. Why are you angry? Why are yeah. you why are you turning 
fucking Jay Moore into the Mikey D fight. What, is, what, is, what do you get from this? Ridiculous. My entire, my entire point of this phone call, and I've said it about six times, is to tell you and from my heart that I'm sorry. And I don't know why. There's some button I push in you, and I apologize. Again, there's another one. I apologize. I think you're tremendous. I think you're a tremendous talent. You make me laugh every day. When I'm in my car 3,000 miles away, 9 o'clock hits, and I go, all right, here we go. Here are my guys. Now my day's shaping up. That's you in my life, Pez. You make me happy. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. So I don't know why I... And I accept your apology, and I apologize for if I was oversensitive. Funny stuff. It's it's great. I'm just not going to, you know, you you won't have to. When I call in, you'll never have to worry about me breaking. You'll never have to worry about me breaking balls again, because I don't want there to be any of that weirdness between us, because it's just, it's getting bizarre, and it's unraveling quick, and let's just stop it. Let's just be friends. All right, I'm going to move into break here. Thanks, Jay. Goodbye. Peace. Uh, all right, it is the uh, Ron Fez show. Uh, we got some stuff to play uh, later on in the show. Uh, apparently, Fez, you were badmouthed on the ONA show today uh, by a uh, person who was uh, well, has been a good buddy to us over uh, the years. Uh, Ron Fez dot net zone JJ Jay Moore uh, took his problem to you with you to ONA. Now I haven't heard it uh, the because bo- I was you know. Uh, coming in at the time, uh, but the bo- uh, the guys on the show said they all felt a little bad about it, and they were worried about you, but I'm like, put it out there. He made you cry yesterday. Mm-hmm. We'll take a listen to what he had to say. I thought we had it all straightened up at the end of the show, but... Uh, I thought so, too. Yeah. All right, so we'll listen to that a little bit later on the Ron and Fez show. The problem here is, why can't Jay Moore defend Fez the way that he defends Tool on RonFez.net? That's been brought up to me. Why can't why can't he take a step back and say to himself, uh, you know, Fez is my buddy, he just had a bad day. Yeah, if I could get half the love Tool gets. If I could just be his tool for one day. All right, Ron and Fez show, and we said uh, we would be uh, playing the uh, Jay Moore audio from today, Fezzy. Have you had the opportunity to hear it yet? No, I have not checked this out yet. Okay. So uh, this is uh, Jay. On the LNA, how long is this? This long uh, conversation. It's uh, two minutes. Wow, two minutes of talking about Fez or the yeah. whole thing? Yeah, it's about Fez. Two All minutes right. of Fez. Let's take a quick listen. This is Jay Moore today on the LNA show. Uh, I think I'm seeing you guys next week. No. What is that about? I'm fine. Well, it's about I'm actually in New York. Nice. Okay. Oh, so you I'm figure before there, Ron and Fez... Out. You'll drop in and maybe uh, see us for a minute or two. For a goof. Well, Ron, and Fez, Ron and Fez don't get the in-studio. Only the b- 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 boys oh. get the in-studio. You, you actually fucking made Fezzy cry yesterday, you know. Bro, I say hello when he starts freaking out. <laughs> I know. <laughs> There's something about fucking Jay Moore that just makes poor Fez start crying. We, we might be going a little inside, but uh, uh, it makes me laugh so hard because I'll tell you why it makes me laugh so hard. Because <laughs> Jay doesn't know how to handle Fezzy's crying. I know. And Jay actually starts getting a little annoyed. Like, oh. Jesus, Fezzy, what the fuck? I'm trying to invite you to a nice little weekend. Yesterday, he, he <laughs> told Fezzy that he was third mic on his own show. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, and, and Fezzy. He just he was like, and then and you hear Ronnie go, "What's the matter, buddy? Yeah. What, what happened? Did yeah. Jay say something that upset you?" And Fez is like, "Yes, he did. Yes, <laughs> yes, because I felt that way sometimes, and I don't need that." And Jay's just like, "What's the matter with you? What the fuck is wrong with you?" I, uh, Jay gets so frustrated. Uh, Jay doesn't know whether to talk to him anymore without making him cry. You're a bully. <laughs> yeah, I'm a real bully. It's, it's the first time in my life. Where I can actually say, like, I'm not really mean to anybody. Right. You don't mean to me. But says, like, for some reason, whatever I say, because I used to be really mean to everybody. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, he has no idea. I'm just like this, you know, Sid Arthur character just rolling through life, just trying to get paid, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, stacking (laughs) checks, breaking, whatever, whatever, with the blacks. So, our president (laughs) smokes Newports. What are you going to (laughs) do? So, there it is, Fezzy. Yeah. Continuing, continuing. I thought everything was settled yesterday. Granted, I did not have my best day yesterday, that's for sure. I had some problems going on. But apparently it's not dropped. That's why I'm going to have a nice pastry. 
It is just not dropped. So what's the new thing? No no phone calls from Jay Moore? He's out? No, I don't want to, you know, let Jay do what Jay wants to do. If he, I mean, he was called a bully by Anthony. He knows what's going on. We cut the, we cut the cord right now. No more more. Less more on the Ron and Fez show. No, I can be the bigger person here. I can be the bigger person. That's it. Jay's out. What do you say, uh, Dave? Sounds like he's taking a Jaycation. Nice one. We're on Jaycation. Having lots of fun. <laughs> Why don't you show up on fucking O and A that day and shank him, stab him right in the fucking kidney? That's the only way you're gonna get, get any get him to respect you. Yeah, it's uh, it's beyond me how things can be settled one day and not settled the next. Knock him out. I am like a mid east peace talk with this guy. Oh my god, these pastries are amazing. Brooklyn, New Jersey, New Jersey. It's the best. It's the best. I guess I'm going to light one of these cigars, too, after that. I'm just going to enjoy my life. It's a good um, day for you. Uh, I'm sorry, Fez. I'm taking you away from the Jay Moore thing. How are you going to handle this? Um, I will just, I will be the bigger person, and I can just ignore Jay Moore. I can just ignore him. So your Maybe. way is your way of handling this is by doing nothing. Maybe what I'll do is I'll switch over to Idol on Wednesday nights, you know, instead of CBS. Maybe that's how I'll handle it. With my viewership. Here's uh, Pat. Pat, you're on the Run and Fez show. Hey there, Ronnie B. Yeah. Hey, Fez. Fez Dirt, you sound like a million bucks. Thank you. Hey, Ronnie B., you know, you can't go around kicking the number one show on satellite radio in the balls for the number two show without being cut loose. You know what? That's true. We're the number one show on satellite radio, and everyone knows it. That's why we're noon to three. Hey, save the best for last. Uh, here is uh, Mike. Mike, you're on running Fez. Yeah, hey, I think Fez was just being a big fucking baby yesterday, and instead of admitting that he made Jay Moore feel bad about himself and ruined the whole moment, Uh-oh. He, he's hanging on to this like Jay still hey. owes him. Jay should drop it. Nobody should bust. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, Dave, stand back. This is when Fez explodes. Mike, you may be the next one to be cut loose. You oh, may no, also Fez. find yourself Please, on no, the wrong Fez. side of Fez Marie Watley. Don't do it. Fez. And that's Please. what you don't want because you'll be walking around with sore ass if it happens. <laughs> so just mind your P's and Q's right now. Uh-oh, it's happening. Oh, a Fez meltdown. Oh. I'm going to cry, Fezzy. I don't need you to talk to me that way. You'll get talked to any way I want to. Well, nice, Fezzy. Be a All right. And, now, and Fez, how do you feel about Jay Moore? Jay Moore, now you know what? Now that Mike has brought it up, yeah, now I feel I'm a little bit riled up again. Uh-oh. I was willing to let bygones be bygones. Here we go. Maybe Jay Moore wants a punch in his ass. Maybe that's what he wants. Maybe I can only be pushed so far. Maybe he, Jay Moore got what he wanted, the wrath of Fez. I don't know what goes on in his mind. Yeah. I don't talk to his psychiatrist who gives him his pills. I don't know what's going on there. You've had it, huh? Yes, I've had it. I, I didn't read his book. I don't know how his psyche works. But if this is the sick thing he wants, Fez on his bad side, yeah. Fez on his back side, right. that's what's going to happen. Yeah. That's where we're going to end up. What about the horse he came in on? Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Good, all right. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. No well, matter yeah, how yeah. he rode in. Yes. I don't care how he rode in. All right, could you not play someone else's promo while I'm uh, talking about who this? Who did that? Oh, that's Hicks, Fez. You know that's, Hicks. That's Hicks. Hicks, who has maybe all of a sudden feeling a little froggy oh, over right? there. Maybe, maybe he's going to get up. You know, maybe his big fat denims are going to move for once in his life yeah. and come this way. Come walk down Fez Boulevard. Uh-oh. Maybe you'd like that. Maybe you'd like to get smacked in the face with my big cock if you... If you keep it up. Well, he'd be the first. Hey, uh, Fezzy, I noticed mm -hmm. that, that Dave is snickering and laughing behind your back. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Pale, Mr. Snicker, <laughs> Mr. You know, I got a snide remark anytime, <laughs> anywhere. Yeah, maybe you'll be next. Maybe you'll get bent over this console and get a big piece of Fez business. 
three to four inches worth, depending on my mood, big man. All if right. you want to keep smirking and smiling. Fez, what about all the listeners on the couch? What do you think of them today? Those a-holes? <laughs> they want to come in here and take up my couch and then kind of look at me like I'm all fucked up in the head? They want to, you know, they want to go ahead, disrespect me? I'll bounce your asses out of here one by one. I'll give you a good... Fisting! I'll give you a fist right in your ass is what I'll do. And I don't care what any of you say about it. Sue me. What are you going to get? Antidepressants? Oh, Fez, look who it is. The lady trucker. Oh, lady trucker. Now you want some of this, huh? Good afternoon, Fez. Okay, yeah. You know what? This is wonderful. Hey, Large Marge, tell him that Large Fez's dick came and made you a visit. How do you like that? Maybe I'm going to pull you over and truck stop you. I'll find a glory hole to shove your face into, lady trucker. Oh, keep it. Keep it up, biggin. Keep it up. (laughs) You know what? The jackknife will be coming from Fez climbing on top of your big rig. How do you like that? Ooh, that sounds exciting, actually. Yeah, keep it up. You'll end up in the Jay Moore file. Sit next to these people on the couch, these losers. Hicks, Dave, line them up. You're my light work, lady trucker. I'll use you as an appetizer. What? Appetizer. <laughs> well, it could be an appetizer. That, too. Well, at least now you're not mad at Jay Moore anymore. I'm furious what? with Jay Moore. What? He takes my business yeah. on to O&A yes. and thinks he's not going to get his ass shaved by me for yeah. doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, buddy. Good luck with that one. I don't see that happening. Maybe he's just trying to make you look uh, stupid in front of O&A. Oh, he could try. Oh. Oh. oh, he may try. That may be his heart's desire. Right. Maybe he writes that in his diary every night. Ooh la la, Jay Moore. Not going to happen. No one's going to make my and me look stupid in front of O&A but me. Yeah. It'll be on my time. It'll be my decision. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Moore, you're not getting away with it. That's for sure. Oh, uh, Fez. Ass face. Look who's at the door. It's Hosp. Oh, Hosp. Hosp. <laughs> All right. Now Hosp wants, <laughs> Hosp, yeah. Hosp wants to walk in here and be part of this. You picked the wrong day to go to the ball, Cinderella. Just so you know. You picked the wrong day to show up on my doorstep. Because it ain't happening. Oh, look who it is, Fez. Uh, look who's on here. It's Leader. Leader, you're on the Run of Fez show. Oh, the Daily Leader. Hey, Fez. Daily Leaker. Because I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll jack you off until you come. That's what I'll end up doing to you, buddy. See if you like oh, it. Is, is that a bad you'll, thing? You'll, yeah, it's going to be bad. The way I do it, it's going to be bad. It's going to be a hurtful day oh, with I the never, Daily Leader. Never came bad. It's going to be ugly. Speaking of ugly, Haas, what are you doing here? You want a part of me today? Because oh. you picked the wrong, wrong time. I, Fez, Sorry? Fez, you okay with Jay Moore now? Uh, Jay Moore? Yeah. I am furious with Jay Moore. I will take my wrath out on Jay Moore. It is going to happen. You know what? It may not be today. It may not be tomorrow. It may not be three years from tomorrow. But eventually, I will get my revenge on Jay Moore. Jay Moore's not going to get away with the way he treats me. Well, you know, Jay's a big TV star. He's a great comedian. What? Where's your movie career, Jay? Oh, jeez. Where's your movie career? That's what I'd like to... Wait a minute. Let me see. Yeah. No, it's not down here. (laughs) Oh, jeez. I don't see it under the council anywhere. Not down there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see it. Maybe I'll hire a private dick. Private dick to find out what's going on with Jay Moore. I don't get it. And his career. Oh, man, am I wound up today. And I I didn't want to be like this, Ronnie. You know I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I'd go so far to say fag. What? (laughs) I got big shoulders, and Mm. a lot of things can roll right down them. And bra straps. Well, yeah. But I'll tell you what, today someone snapped my bra strap for the last time. Who's that, Fuzzy? Jay Moore. That's who. Going on O&A talking shit about me. Yeah. And acting like he's King Arthur. That's him. He's the the great prince. He's the the champion of the world. I don't like it one bit. Guy's half a Jew. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I don't need it. I don't need it from him one bit. I don't care for it at all. Oh, Fez, come on. That's Jay. Bleach blonde mother. 
I'll That's tell you Jay what. Moore. Everybody likes Jay. I, I, I don't think everyone likes Jay. Yeah. I don't care for the lazy eyed retard oh, myself. Geez. I don't care about it. <laughs> That's just how I feel. That's how I feel. <laughs> Looks mm. like he's one of Jerry's kids. Drives Don't. me nuts. So we put this behind me, up behind us? No, I'm going to put it behind Jay, and I am going to thrust, and I am going to pump, and I'm going to pound. And that's what's going to happen. That's where it's going to be behind. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to start spreading some cheeks around here if I have to, and I don't mind doing it. I'm just the guy to do it. Well, I mean, Jay went on O and A, and I guess he was a little upset, and I guess he's every right to be, Fuzzy. Uh, I'll tell you what, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, here's the thing. I'm not Bobcat Goldthwait. All right? I'm not taking shit. All right? What? Uh, here is. Uh, Don't take from me. What's that? Don't take from me. Why is that? My stuff, my material. Take it on O and A. Mm. Here is um, here's Ernest. Ernest, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Ron. Hey, yeah. Fez. By the way, I love uh, your movies, Ernest. Uh, thank you. Why don't you uh, go to camp, ask, Ernest? Why don't I ask Fuzzy there if uh, he wants to stick the Watley Posse on him? Watley Posse after uh, Jay Moore? I could do the Watley Posse, sure. I'll get Photoshop Mike and the troops together and unleash a posse. And by unleashing the posse, I mean unleashing hell on Jay Moore. I'll lead the charge. I'll go forward. This has turned ugly. Yes, it turned ugly when Jay Moore showed his face. That's what happened. Maybe he's a bully, Fuzzy. He thought he could just push you around. Yeah, see, that's what bullies do. They think they can just walk and stroll through this life, attack anybody they want to, do anything they want, and they're not going to get ass raped for it. Well, sorry, wrong. You picked the wrong guy. You picked on Fez Watley this time. Oh. Oh, sloop shouldered. I think he's got osteoporosis. I'm not sure. His shoulders are fine. He's a TV star. I don't know. I think they do. They try to fix it with lighting and posters. I never saw you this way before. I don't usually get. To, I don't like to be this way, Ronnie. I don't like to do it this way. I don't like to have to lay down Fez Law, but sometimes it happens. Fez Law, by the way, is also illegal in the South. It's called <laughs> sodomy. Yeah, we'll get this one on the books. We'll take it off the books. I don't care either way. Oh, you're, not making, you're not making sense, but you are uh, passionate. Yes, I am. And I'm really upset about this. I'm going to take care of it my own way. If that means pants down, fine. That's the way we got to do it. That's the way I'm going to roll. Sorry, I guess he just played you as a bitch on all night. What's the big deal? You're a bitch, then. Yeah, yeah. He thinks I'm a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be weird when the bitch all of a sudden t turns him over and uh, makes Jay Moore the pillow biter here. Mm. All right, I uh, got a break. Back in a couple of minutes, Ron and Fez. It's the Ron and Fez show. That was Fezzy's rant uh, from yesterday. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. And uh, you're staying with that angle, uh, Fez? That's just exactly the way you feel? That's how I feel, and I stand by every, every word I said. Mm -hmm. I absolutely stand by it. I was attacked, and I have decided to attack back. Wow. Uh, how's this? Let me check with my private detective, uh, Eastside Dave. Dave, how's this playing in the uh, hinterlands? How's the public going with this? Uh, public is on Fez. Uh, uh, Ronfez.net mm. is totally behind Jay Moore's corner. They, he, Fez has lost Ronfez.net completely. All right, uh, find out. Give me some of the threads and what's going on over there. Okay. Fez Watley, uh, RonFez.net always even protects you against me. Yeah. You I... are uh, normally the happiest, sweetest, oh, let Fez lay down during the show, let him cry. Somehow it's Ron's fault. And yet uh, you're losing this to uh, Jay Moore. Totally losing. Because he's a TV star? Is that the, the big problem? Uh, Jay Moore's a member of RonFez.net, and he's well-liked over there. He's built up a reputation over there. You know, JJ is a very popular poster. Uh, he puts in the time and the effort, and uh, they're behind their guy. And uh, they're against Fez. Very much so, in fact. Well, that one, um, you know what, uh... It doesn't exactly surprise me when I see that Jay's done the work here. Dave, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey there. Uh, yeah. Fez, love the rant. Didn't hear it yesterday, but I'm behind you a thousand percent. Screw Jay Moore. All right, there it is. Uh, it's a uh, half-assed radio war. Two guys uh, 
One's third mic, and one doesn't have a show, and they're doing a radio war. All right. Um, I'm... And by the way, I uh, heard this yesterday from somebody, and um, they said to me, this is Fez's star thing. And I go, what are you talking about? They said, well, do you notice that Fez only uh, laughs at Anthony? And I go, I never really noticed that. They said, over the years, you've only really laughed at Anthony. And all the callers have said third mic and you've been fine with it. But when Anthony and Jay Moore say anything, then you'll start crying. Um, I, You know what? I didn't realize that. I didn't either. I, I didn't know that. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a thing of people that I respected or thought were friends or something. Mm. You know, that, that maybe that's why it hurts a little bit more. More? M-O-H-R. Uh, here is Steve. Steve, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Hey, I heard that Fez is the best cum catcher, not Carbonite. Now, that doesn't make you cry. No, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. But if that guy wants to end up, uh, you know, the, like Jay Moore to me, that's fine. He can keep pushing his luck. Here is uh, Jeff. Jeff, you're on the Run of Fez show. Jeff. Hello? Yeah. Hey, um... Uh... I'm, I'm behind you 100%, man. In fact, I'm never going to watch the first 10 minutes of Jay McGuire ever again. All right, interesting. Uh, we're finding ourselves on the losing end of a radio war. This has never happened in the history of radio, where the radio show itself at war with someone losing on their own website, their uh, official, unofficial website. I've got um, my guy. Eastside Dave uh, McDonald doing uh, work into it, and he's going to be coming in with a spy report, spy report, spy report. And here's the problem, Fez. Even though uh, this is you against Jay, uh-huh. let's face it, you represent me now. You now represent me to the rest of the world. So I can't have you uh, losing this battle, as well as losing what I hope to be the first person ever to get a call back on Unmasked, to do a secondary Unmasked show during the new season. I planned on doing Jay Moore. Hey, what are you up to? And it seems like that is not going down because, once again, O and A are getting the exclusive. All right, here comes my guy in from the newsroom, our own Eastside Dave McDonald. Can I get a little newsroom uh, audio going here if, if we have any at all? Just anything that makes this sound somewhat... Like we're in the situation room, and I'm finding out the whole entire uh, situation. There you go. Uh, breaking news. Breaking news. Uh, here, let's throw it to Eastside Dave McDonald. Ron, on a poll from ronfez.net, who's in the right, who's in the wrong? Yeah. 75% say Fez is wrong. 12.5%. Says Fez is right. Wow. 75% to 12. Now, we've also talked to... Where are the rest of the percentages? The other my butt? The other 12.5 is Toilet Crusher is a drunk. Mm. He's the man who started the poll. But right, so right now, Toilet Crusher being a drunk is beating uh, Fez Watley. Correct. On RonFez.net. Now, we also talked to a few of the uh, men on the street, Ron, mm. and they had this to say. I enjoy Mr. Moore's contribution to the show. This is from Lady Friday. For better or, war, or, or poorer, Jay Moore stays. Wow, Friday, who's been nothing but right. uh, uh, our friend over the years. Exactly. We have known her for a long time. This is from STC Dub. Jay must stay. This is from Food Court Druid. I love Jay Moore. And this is from. Did you go to our Twitter account? And we will be heading over to the Twitter <laughs> account real soon. And and Ron, this is from a a uh, poster called Anonymous. Fez is a faggot. Mm. By the way, that is my uh, online name. If anybody wants to check in with me, um, here's uh, Heather. Heather, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey boys. Hey Fezzy. Um, I'm coming out for you. I'm going to stop trolling on RonFez.net, and I'm going to start posting for you. That Jay Moore is kind of squirrely. All right, so maybe there you go, Fezzy. Uh, you can get your um, uh, you're broken. Remember, you were you you called on the Fez uh, posse yesterday. Yeah, the Watley posse. And now They're losing. Out, yeah, now losing on RonFez.net. Uh, Mike, Mike, you're on the hey. Ron Fez show. 
How's it going, fellas? Good. I just want to let you know, I was checking out Suicide Kings last night. I uh, was even checking out that TV show he had where he played a producer out in L.A. I don't know. I, I like Jay Moore. He does a lot of voices. But I like Fez, too. I mean, why do we have to pick a side? Give me that answer. Fez drew a line in the sand, and um, Jay Moore canceled his Unmasked. Hey, what are you up to lately, uh, Unmasked? The first ever uh, return guest Unmasked, and he's doing the O&A show. No. 75%. 75% of Moore's corner. Of our hardcore guys, the Ron and Fez uh, listeners. Yeah, I'm a little shocked there. I'm, I am I would say I am surprised at that. When it's ronfez.net. And they would take Jay Moore's side and apparently Even Gvac Even Gvac is against Fez at this point. That would stun me. Yeah. That would stun me. That yeah. would really be a shocker. It really would. Well, Gvac had this to say, quote, man up. Well, he always says that. Unquote. Fez. Uh, Pat, Pat, you're on Fez. Hey there, Fester. Hey, what can I do like, for you? Just to let you know out here in the uh, trucking industry, we all got your back. You know, I'm going to put on the side of my trailer, Jay Moore sucks. Uh, here is uh, RC, you're on Fez. Hey, Jay Moore's the greatest, man. Fez Watley? More like Pez Snotley. See ya! Right, some of these things are so witty. I don't even know how to deal with it, Pez. Fez. Sorry, Snotley. Watley. I'm so confused. It's Fez Watley. You know me! Mm. Do I? You know my name. Do I? Um, Davey Mac, you think the problem is, is that uh, Jay Moore's work in the streets. This is really... Yeah. Just uh, the same thing with Obama. He's got a street team. Exactly. He was able to organize people. I, I think that JJ has the pulse of the people, just like uh, just like the president. Mm. Um, Jeff, Jeff, you're on Run and Fez. Fez, love you to death, buddy. But I gotta take Jay Moore and his TV show Gary Unmarried over your TV show. Can't even get married. Mm. But I would switch allegiances if you came up with a new character called Gay Gayerson. Gay, can I ask you a question? <laughs> that is not a character that I'm doing. Sorry, Gayerson. <laughs> it is Fez Watley, Same not thing. Gay Gayerson. Not doing that. What is a gay word for sausage? Cock? Do you, when you go out, you say, could I have some eggs and cock, please? <laughs> no, I would ask for sausage like any other human. Oh! 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 Real sausage, oh! like breakfast sausage. Oh! Cock winner. Breakfast sausage is what I'm talking about. Hold on, I just got a text. Who's Nick? And is he fucking Fez in the ass? By the way, love the evil laugh. Hmm. Oh, well, Mr. Popularity. <laughs> Mr. Popularity. Hmm. Uh, looks like you're losing this one, Fez. Uh, Justice, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hi, Snotley. <laughs> oh, Snotley. <laughs> All right. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Call <laughs> <in> the- <laughs> Quit <laughs> showing me your free cigars while you, <laughs> while you even laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Ow, don't hit me with a cigar box. Yes, I see you got free cigars. It's not worth sinister laughing about. I understand. You know who I'd hate to be? One of those bums sitting out there on the hard seats that couldn't pull it together. Like my good friends Brad and Brendan from uh, Orlando. I hope you enjoy the comfortable couch. Sure gets off that cold aluminum ass <laughs> that those people are experiencing. So JJ is beating Fez on RonFez.net. Should I should I change it to RonJJ.net? Is that the way to go here? If the if things don't uh, turn around, I mean the fact is, it's turn just... around, brothers. Did that song make you cry too, Fez? No, that song uh, never let's, made me cry. Let's come up with cheap hack '70s songs <laughs> and see how many make you cry. <laughs> oh, what a lonely boy! <laughs> Time for, for Fezzy to cry. <laughs> He's such a lonely boy. 
undercover angel. Fez is a crybaby. None of that? No, none of those are working on me. Hey, wait. I'm getting my tear ducts going. Wait. You said you cry because you respect some people? Mm-hmm. guess you don't respect me, do you? I respect you. Hello, old friend. Hello. I mean, in fact, some of the people here, Jimmy Olsen Blues. <laughs> yeah. Uh, One of Fez's biggest fans. The, uh, I used to love Fez, it says here, by Jimmy Olsen. He, but he says JJ is the best Ron Fez caller of all time. All right. Can You know, can I play the uh, part of um, uh, 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 of your campaign manager, Fez? Sure. Please You're do. You're losing, not based on who you are, uh -huh. but on the fact that you haven't done the campaign work. You haven't got out there and beat the bushes. Right. After all these years, and I believe it's nine years now, why aren't you posting? If you were posting on ronfez.net, they would see you as a fellow poster, and they would have been behind you. Exactly, because people are writing JJ rules. Right. Which right. is, is you uh -huh. know. Uh, Sign Fez up. The name Fez Fez. See if Fez that Fez. has been taken. Yeah. And get it on immediately. Yeah. Sign me. I, how does it work? How does it work? How does RonFez.net work? <gasps> it's the internet. You don't know how it works. Sign me up. Get I me will. on there. And I'll... I will start doing the grassroots campaign here. Okay. Because you need it. I mean, Chuck Norris says the great state of Texas is behind you, Jay. Behind you, JJ. Right. Not Fez Fez. I want you to do that and get a picture of Fez with a hood over his head. Just so he's sitting there. He's got a hood down over his head All right. and saying to people, be on my side against J.J. This is a war. Fez Fez versus J.J. All right, yeah. yeah. Is he signed up yet? I'm making the call right now. Yeah, yeah and get me, Yeah, I need one of those pics that goes with everybody's uh, postings. He needs a nice hood pic for himself. Uh -huh. A hood sick pic. Yeah. All right, that's what I want. Make it a... The best you can buy. Money's no object here. Yeah. Well, there's no, there's no object. I am going to out-campaign J.J. Moore. Uh, Rush. Rush on the Run of Fez show. Hey, man, I'm seeing Obey J stickers everywhere in New York. Well, sure, because um, he's doing the work. Well, that, that was yesterday. Today, I start doing the work. I start doing the RonFez.net groundwork, the legwork. And I want you to be prepared to comment on every thread. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not just going to... I'm not going to make it. I'm going to integrate myself into this community. Right. You know, it's not just going to be, hey, pick me over JJ. Right. I want to... I'm going to comment on things. I'm going to, you know, just get into all their little conversations. There's been some talk about you instead of the hoodies just being a scarfy. Mm -hmm. You put a scarf over your head. I, I don't know how concealing it would be, but okay. Everyone knows it's Opie anyway, so don't worry about that. Yeah. I don't want to be too concealing. So I'm totally going to take care of this. All right, good. Glad to hear it. Uh, Fezzy, working right now to get you your uh, new um, RonFez.net name, uh, which is going to be um, Fez Fez. Exactly. I am just going to... I am just going to integrate myself in the RonFez.net community. I'm going to become beloved there. Uh, Jesse has something for you. Why don't you bring him over? If this is for your new SIG pick. And just uh, put that on Fez. And maybe you can even stay like that for the rest of the day. Yeah, just put it on him. Around him. Yeah, there you go. All right, that's perfect. How's that's that look? Like? Yeah, that is perfect for you. How's that? That's the new... Uh, Hoodie look that you're going to be rocking. Uh huh. Yeah, this will be Fez Fez's sig pick. <laughs> right. So you'll know when you see this online <laughs> with my post, you're going to know it's the real Fez Fez on right. RonFez.net. Can't um, see anybody. Let's go over to uh, Chris. Chris, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Morning, boys. Yeah. Morning in my time zone, rather. Fezzy, I wanted to say that on behalf of independent truck drivers everywhere, We've chosen sides in the battle of JMO versus Homo, and I just wrote on the back of my semi, it says, when the Fezder rocks, he rocks the fat ass. Beautiful. Here's uh, Big Jim. Big Jim, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Ronnie B., you're yeah. a genius. Yes, I am. Hey, uh, 
I'm the president of the cane pole bikers from Pinellas Park. Yeah. And uh, what our thing is, we kind of hang out at the edge of the woods, wait for unsuspecting girls to ride by on their bikes, then we go out. Let me take a look at that picture. Push. Yeah. Then we go out, we push them down and usually pommel them. Sometimes we just throw their bike in the ditch and continue to pommel them. And uh, we're totally behind Jay Moore on this. Uh, we, we think he's totally in the right. Well, I was hoping, is there any way that ties in with a sleeve song for, for his birthday? Because that's what I'm looking for. Why can't I see a picture of Fez? The camera just died. It is out of batteries. I apologize. Let me try to turn it back on. There we go. I think you just took a picture of your crotch. Who's the camera belong to? Is that yours? No, that's Hex's in the back. Well, why isn't it charged it up all the time? Hold on one second. Oh, okay, I'll hold on. I'll just <laughs> sit here on the fucking radio. Hold on. All right, I'll hum. Um, I want you to hold up the double bubble uh, barrel where it can be seen. Yeah, perfect. And now dump it out. Dump it out on the floor. <laughs> that's it. Just, yes, that's it. Mm-hmm. I was going to chew that now. All right. To me, this is the worst picture I've ever seen in my life. It looks like a chinless uh, per old lady under a hood. The problem is the black and yellow don't exactly line up. Maybe if he ran out and took a, a picture uh, out there against that wall. Okay. The area that you're in right now doesn't... Uh, also, be careful. A lot of gum was dumped out. I almost fell in it. I know. I might even want some of that gum later. I might even want to have it. It was just something I went through trying to make a point. Oh boy, you love jumping in that second mic no, position. No, no, no. Like, someone has to be behind the boards. Just yes. being a responsible broadcaster. Right. You know that you're part of the reason it made him cry. <laughs> I'm not. I didn't say anything. Um, here's, uh, here's Cam. Cam, you're on Fez. What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm taking Jay Moore's side because I think Fez is a fucking rube. Rube how, sir? You just thought you'd have a uh, good word and not be able to back it up? How's that picture look, Fez? I think it looks a lot better. All right. You know that I stuff looks good. that they use to mold cakes with on uh, the cake thing? It's not marzipan, but it's uh. the stuff that they... It's, it's like that stuff that they are doing Ace of uh, of Cakes. Yeah, I don't know what that is called. Yeah, the cake batter. No, it's not cake batter. Cake batter. Now he's got too many chins. <laughs> he's he's went from none to two. All right, you can use this. Um, but what I'd like to do is get some of that uh, cake stuff. And uh, form a chin for Fez underneath him right now. <laughs> Fondant? Fondant? Is that the name? Fondue. Um, when's Jay coming in and doing the, uh, the O&A show? Next week. It might be Monday. I think he might be coming in Monday. Dave, I want to make sure he knows he is not welcome here. Ooh. Okay. I'll tell him that. If he thinks, oh, I'm going to do a funny bit on O&A... And then, you know what, guys? I'm going to come in and see you. I was just kidding. No. Wow. You're not going to You're not gonna play that. You know, he's played that game before trying to make Opie mad, right? Yes. He and I saw Opie yes. fall for it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean. Not Opie's, me, Jay. Opie's a sensitive person. He is. You know? Me on the other side, cold-blooded. Yeah. I kill people. I kill people. <laughs> scene. That's from Eastbound and Down every Sunday night on HBO. Oh, it takes a lot out of me. It takes a lot out of me. Um, here is Sean. Sean, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Ronnie, I got the each box for you. What do you got, pal? I was, I was going to let you guys know that Jay Moore was on ONA this morning, and he killed. He was fantastic. Well, first of all, when doesn't Jay Moore kill? All right? And don't bring up his TV show. As a guest, killer. I know that for a fact because he came in and did our show before. He was scheduled to come back in, but uh, he made Fezzy cry. Yes, and I noticed he didn't have the nerve to mention me this morning or stick around for our show whatsoever. I think, he, well, he said he wasn't doing our show because he was tired of this thing between you and him. Uh, 
But you got to, you know, when you have an ex-girlfriend and she acts like this, you just got to let it go. You can't remember the good times. He and Opie have this sick thing where, you know, they break up, they get back together. Mm -hmm. Opie does this with a lot of his friends. Uh, Dice, for whatever reason, Dice is out, Dice is back, Dice is... It it can't work out that way. Once it's gone, you got to say it's over. Do we all love Jay? Yes. But Fez and he had a falling out. So be it. When Fez dies, Jay will be back here. We'll do some great shows. That makes it sound like I'm going to die soon. Wasn't there something about you having prostate cancer? No, that wasn't me. That was Don Imus. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I really hoped it was you. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. And I'm saying that as your friend, Fezzy. I'm saying that as your pal. we got to come up with an excuse. We've got to. And that would be the perfect one. I don't know if prostate an- uh, cancer is the way to go. Well, come up with something. It's up to you. You married uh, a gigantic Mets fan. Yeah. And her whole family Mets fans? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Her, her grandmother is just, it's blue and orange. Yeah. Her house. Maybe that's her veins. Oh. One of the, uh, you know, Fezzi, that is his, you know, grandmother now. Grandmother-in-law. Her mm-hmm. name is Dodo. I don't want Dodo showing up for uh, O&A instead of our show. <laughs> Like you did uh, yesterday with uh, Jay Moore. By the way, I'm walking down 56th Street yesterday. I'm on my way to a screening. I see a guy with a fruity little dog, Mr. Jay Moore. Really? We walk right past each other. Not even a hello. And he's carrying a little dog? Yeah, tiny little dog. He didn't uh, strike me as a tiny dog person. I wonder (laughs) how you don't get this fucking thing that now me and Jay have this thing over your disc. Instead, you're on the tiny dog. All right, let's get to the bottom of this, Fez. Okay. Some of the relationships that you have with men, Mm -hmm. there is a whole nother side to this. Right. There's a darker side. Sure. There's a creepier side that you never seem to be willing to admit this, and yet we here on the outside, uh, we feel it. We know that it seems to be going on, and it comes off seeming a little bizarre to us. I mean, for me, I oh my god, look who just came oh, in the studio, sweet lord, with flowers, <laughs> Mr. J. Moore. Hi, Fezzy. Hello, J. Moore. This has gone on long enough. I'm sorry, and I think you're fantastic. And I'm in the neighborhood. Hi, Ronnie. Mm. <laughs> Ronnie's not happy. But I'm not anyways. talking. Oh, this is between you and Fez. This here. sickness between the two of you. I got you some a dozen red roses here, and I got you a black belt magazine. And there's a card in there. I've never seen black belt magazine. I never did either. I thought it meant something entirely different when I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> there's not one bit of martial arts in here. It's between you two. Okay. <laughs> this sickness is between you two. I'm just saying hi. Uh, can I tell you something, Jay? The other day, last Thursday, I'm walking up 56th Street across Park Boulevard. I see you and your little dog walking across the street. I was shoulder to shoulder with you. Did not give you a hello. Wow, that really hurts my feelings. You should have your feelings hurt. Because the sickness and what you have put this girl through. <laughs> this past it didn't really week, hurt my feelings. I, I don't want to fall into that whole trap. But, yeah. um, but I would have loved to have said hi to you. And yeah, yes, you and your little, you and your little sissy dog, <laughs> Mabel. Yeah, little Mabel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fez, does this make up for everything that you've been through? Well, I've got uh, roses. I've got a very sweet card. Yeah. That's uh, may I read it? Absolutely. See, that's all I need. Fez, I really think that you are an amazing talent. I would never hurt you. I'm serious. Cheers, JJ. Cheers. I don't know what to write. And then I also have Black Belt Magazine I mean, it's got the here. Chrysler building on it. Who knows? You know, I don't even know why I got the card. Man, I- those blintzes look amazing. <laughs> we got any blintzes? 50, I'm starving. 56th. 56th and Park Avenue. You're walking down the street with your little dog. I know. Uh, a little gay sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw your whole look. My By the whole- way, uh... You're looking broad. You look like you've been in the gym. I'm trying right. to get rid of my belly. You look unbelievable. Thank you, brother. But uh, dressed in layers. I, You're gonna be I, in Black Belt magazine next. You I look up bippy. and see 
shoulder to shoulder I was with you, did not even give you a hello. I'm surprised I didn't feel your aura presence and look over. Yeah. Well, the person when I, uh, that I was with, we just both started laughing. But I can't believe it was almost like a game of tag where we were that close to him. And then but I can't stop on Park Avenue and talk to a guy with a tiny dog anyway. And I was alone? Uh, just you and your dog. I was going to Dwayne Reed. Yeah. Get some Coke Zeros. As a matter of fact, as you were going to cruise, some guy yelled out the car on uh, at the car at you, and you turned around like two seconds after seeing me. The black guy? The skinny know, black guy? Like he was a little aggressive. He followed me into Dwayne Reed. Oh, what are you going to do? I fought him. Um, Fez, here's here's my only problem. He really does look like Babe Ruth a little bit. Well, he does. He looks like the Babe. He's the Bambino. That's no, no. back to Butterface from this morning. What are you uh, talking I didn't about? Listen, I'm in, I was sleeping, so I have no idea what you guys are talking about whatsoever. Here's what happened. I said his face looks like a stick of butter that somebody put no. hot corn in. He's a hand. And... He's Frank O'Harris. Look at that guy. He's all matinee idol looks. You're not really picking out attractive people to compare me to. Frank O'Harris? I didn't Frank think Frank O'Harris was uh, all that I disagree. attractive. Really? I disagree 100%. Yeah. David yeah. Mack, Frank O'Harris. Is he a attractive handsome man? Unattractive. Handsome. Man, Let me man. tell you something. A man's the man. You hear that? The immaculate reception? That's not fucking cute? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> oh, cute's the right word. Fucking shoelaces, Fez. <laughs> He, he destroyed the Oakland Raiders. But here's what I worry about. Yes, you're, sir. you're playing into his weirdness now because now he's gotten everything that he wants. It's the fine. World, the I, world stops. Being a Catholic, as Kaitel would say, I'm blessed. I can. Only, I got to worry about my side of the street, and I don't want him feeling weird about anything that I've done. Mm -hmm. So I know in my heart where I came from. And I really want this poor guy to know, like, I don't want to call this guy and shit on him on his radio show. Like... I you really, make me cry. Uh, oh. You do. Why? Because I'm standing Why do you on his cry? hand. Now, this is a really good fucking point. Why do you cry for him and Anthony and none of the listeners? Maybe it's because there's uh, maybe something more there. Maybe yes. I feel. Sexually, there's something more there. And that brings me to the final gift, Fez. If you no, I would take never. your cock out in front of him. <laughs> what? What do I get? Well, if, your your rose is back. Be, Gigantic fucking radio. I'll give you that. <laughs> TV gigantic. star gets blown and live. I don't know if you call it gigantic. <laughs> Larger than average, possibly. I think there's a picture of it on my phone. Don't taunt him like that. No, it's not even mine. You know, my friend Bert. It's not even your phone? <laughs> I, I was at a Knicks game. My friend Bert uh, texted me. Yes, we me heard. First, uh, first row. A picture of his... Uh, Cock, you're sitting on the toilet, and he. I just open up my text. I'm sitting next to J Justin Tuck of the Giants, and I'm like, Yeah, that's great. And there's a picture of a dick on my phone. And my first reaction is not the smart one to like go quickly put my phone away and be discreet. I go, My friend just sent me a picture of his dick on my phone, <laughs> and he's like, He just stopped talking to me. Sure, yeah. that's gonna happen. <laughs> I need to show a picture, Davey. What's up? I don't want to be a part of this either. Yeah, it's really bad. A part of what? It's really bad. I think, I I think it's a This is really uncomfortable. I feel weird. Are you guys uncomfortable? Yeah. That guy's yeah. sleeping. He's so comfortable. <laughs> well, he's been here a while. Oh, I think smokes. he got into the liquor that he brought. Wow. He saw oh, the he's liquor. He barely knows her. He saw the blintzes. He went right out. No, they're gone now. Yeah, they are gone. Show, show the blintzes, please. Why is it... Uh... I don't know what's real and what's not. I feel like uh, like I'm in the game with Michael Douglas now. Here we go. There's the blintzes. Delish. What you? So you think this is just head games for you? No, I thought it was a very transparent and very just. Here's a guy saying, "Bro, I'm sorry. Whatever it is, I'm sorry." And you guys are going, "I do not want to be a part of this." And I'm like, he, "A part he, of what? I, I'm. I thought I, you know, I'm coming in to like end it. Like, let's be pals." Okay, that's between you two. You can't expect me. Can we me get over this, Fezzy? Why are you looking at Ronnie? <laughs> I, I, I ask him the same thing all the time. Why is he asking me? Are you me? really mad at me? No, I mean, I was hurt that day. Right. Yeah, I was, I was hurt right. that day. Which, and I apologize for hurting and you. I, Not my intention. And, and I, were you hurt after? Yeah, and I was hurt after, too. Why is that? Well, just... Just thinking about it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Thinking about it. And I felt, I felt bad about me. I felt bad about you. All right. So... Yeah, I mean, I felt bad about it afterwards as well. Yes, I did. What do you mean? Because he came in O&A's and then didn't stop to see you or something? He came in, saw O&A, and then didn't even stop to hang around to see you? Yeah, I thought maybe, you Look know. Look how I can make up things and just get him hurt. And then remember, 
when yeah, you found out where he sat, there wasn't a note there. I leave a half hour early, so would he would have been here alone for an hour and a half waiting for Fest to oh, show up. by the way, yes, sir. here's your friend's O&A. Let's hear what Anthony had to say about you. Okay. Somebody that, that, that you're nothing but kind to. Listen to what, and, and, and Anthony also has the best feelings about you. Listen to what he had to say, though. Yeah, well, Jay Moore is a bully oh. uh, to Fezzi. He is the bully. He's the, the He's playground flowers. bully. And Fezzi is the poor little chubby kid on the playground. Oh, whoa, whoa. I didn't ever call no, you no, chubby. I know they're going to play this now, and Fez is going to cry. But I don't mean that uh, literally. I mean it figuratively. I mean it like it was probably in the old days when he was fatty pneumonia. Hmm. So there's Anthony calling you a bully. No, you called him chubby. Well, that's true. And I did cry. His prophecy came true. Bullies really... Prophecy? <laughs> I don't yes. Know, bull... <laughs> Take him away from the holy man. <laughs> Bullies? All right. I don't think I'm a bully. I called up to break chops and it hurt your feelings and I apologized. And I accept your apology. All right, buddy. Thank you, Fezzi. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you. All right. Can we all relax now? Can <laughs> sure. everybody exhale? All right. Get the guy a cot. He's like Ed McMahon over there. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm now. now. Get, hello, Ronnie? Well, now I'll say hello. I was yeah, hoping yeah. for some drama, like a radio drama. Oh, you want to fake radio for, Yeah. I wanted some radio drama and have it end big. What's so your we'd problem? All be, yeah. Dave? What's wrong, Dave? Fucking jerk. I What's am, bothering I'm, you, Dave? I'm staying out of this Half shit. Half a fag. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. Today. Stanley? That's the name, right? Stel? Stanley. I feel weird. You're naming your kid after Stanley Roper. Stan Musial. Stan the man. Underrated baseball player of all time. And Stanley Kubrick. Eyes wide shut, Dave. Have a seat, Jay. Have a seat. Mm. You're more, more than welcome to sit in. How's your New York trip been? I understand you did Rachel Ray the other day. It was fun. I'm a little... I'm, this thing with Dave, I'm a little pissed off about. Well, you should be. Uh, Dave is furious. How did I hurt your hurt fucking Dave feelings? Dave is furious. Silver Lake, New Jersey? Don't go. Don't start going crazy, Dave. No, you, you fucking... No, come Dave, in here. Where's Poe? Where's Poe? You... Fucking Hold on, where's Poe? This guy's, yeah. this guy's uh, gonna want to Poe's fired. Yeah, Poe's not Fuck around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, God, get ready baby. to jump in here, Patty. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> you come near me. Patty's making out with you. I'm out of here. All uh, right, Dave, oh, come, back. Can't walk uh, Dave, Dave come back. Dave, come back. Dave, come on. Run, back. run as fast as you can, Gingerbread Dave, Man. Dave, please. Gingerbread <laughs> oh, Man. Oh, gosh. Gingerbread Man. Oh, Little God, ginger I didn't boy. want to go that way. Little Ginger Boy's got to run away from a situation. And they hit a fan who's obviously from Holland visiting. <laughs> That's Tracy. <laughs> Not in my head. By the way, uh, if you know, some people get to come in and sit down, Jay, and other people uh, don't. And yeah. uh, the people who bring presents can sit down on the couches. The other Dave's animals. got a full bottle of Jameson's in what his it, hand. What is it, Dave? I am so pissed off. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's to Tracy, first of all. <laughs> what do you want to do? Start on the Jameson? Please do it, do it. I can't even look at Jay Moore in the eye. Yeah. The things that he said? Yeah. The fucking games he's playing. You what were drunk when I got back. here! Pull off that Jameson you thing. were Feel drunk when I got here. There he goes. That's from the people on the couches. It's Friday, isn't this your drinking night? On the comfortable chairs. Let me just spell this. Is Let this me... your drinking night, Ginger okay. Boy? Mmm. Mmm. As I'm looking at the people on the couches, I notice the people on the bleachers. I'm looking out there. Um, Bobo is out there. Who? Bobo is out there. Come on in, Bobo. <laughs> now, I don't know who uh, Get him, Bobo is. Where's Bobo from? Bobo is uh, uh, usually on the ONA show, and he teams up with intern David. They do the David and Bobo Get show. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> you look away, you're intern David! No, I'm Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Oh, and he's gone. <laughs> Patty's, Who said off? Patty. Patty's with me. <laughs> I vouch for Patty. Patty's with me. Yeah, Patty's cool. I vouch for Patty. People are being thrown out of this ball game. As you did lose weight, too, by the way, right? He's not trying He's it's, his heart again. Yeah, it's just, yeah. But you look leaner than I saw you but last time. this is what happened before his two heart attacks. No, he's fine. Without trying, tell you right he now. starts to yeah. drop weight, and then he has the heart attack. No, yeah, I just fine. quit eating. What Food do they doesn't say? taste good. What, is that what it was? You, you're not eating? Um, no, I mean, what I do eat, I mean, isn't any sort of diet food, and yet I still lose a rapid amount of weight in a very quick time. That sounds awful. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. Did you stop drinking soda, or? No, I mean, I really haven't changed that much up. 
I haven't changed anything up. So just something in the, your routine. Your routine stayed the same. Yeah, it's the diabetic thing. Where, You're a diabetic? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, where the sugar goes nuts, and that's one of the things. Pissing all night, drinking all night, and the weight drops off. You're funny. You come in <laughs> with the funniest bits. You should be on the radio all the time with this. Just really, really clever. What is it, Dave? You want a little drink? Yeah, I suppose I better. What's wrong, pal? It's just a, it's a, it's a crazy ass day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Fucking David the intern. Yeah. Bobo, and Jay Moore thinks I'm gonna bury the hatchet that easy. How's uh, Bobo connected? What's his connection now? When is he an intern? What's he do? He does a show with uh, David the intern. But how does he know him? I think he just comes in. He, he came in as a fan. They put the two together, and I they've said, been there for like four weeks straight. And then suddenly, they got lightning in a bottle. That's exactly it. As Jerry Lewis would say. <laughs> uh, here is um, here's David. David, just you're on my face. You, just look at you. Hey, buddies. Hey, Jay Moore, good to hear you on the show. Oh, great. Um, my favorite I'm show. I'm trying to figure out the math here. Jay, if you're on the show and Dave's in there, does that make Fez fourth mic right now? All right. Say, Don't listen to him. Christ. Well, first of all, this is the Fez, Ron and Fez that's show. That's that one you set up to call? But what? let's be honest here. <laughs> Since you did your apology thing and you couldn't wait to get rid of your time in the spotlight, have you said a word when the three of us are talking? Not much. I I have said I look, it's the Ron and Fez show, noon to three. Or is it Ron and Dave? No, it's what not. What is it really? Ron, you know, I'll look you right in the eye and tell you you're you're wrong. Good wink. <laughs> oh, <shush>. You wink? <laughs> no. Not from my eyes. I have an enlarged urethra. Oh, uh, Jay, here's your friend. Jivak. Jivak's on the phone. Oh, this guy's angry. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you, Jivak? Passaic, New Jersey, in the house. Wonderful. What's going on? Hey, pal. What can we do for you, Jivak? Uh, I just wanted to uh, assure Mr. Moore that I'm not nameless or faceless, and uh, whatever I say on the board, I would be glad to say to him to his face. Oh, I know that. You're like the exception. <laughs> hey, did that thing, uh, did you see that thing again that you were talking about? What, what thing is that? The purple orb? Oh, uh, no, I'm not seeing it again. All right. Did I'm you... not seeing it again. So you guys can be buddies? Yeah, I don't well, care. Uh, I'm willing to sit down and talk to anybody. I, I, I have no uh, qualms. I have no fears of it. I'm not someone angry behind a, uh, a keyboard, uh, you know, putting up a facade of something that they're not. Yeah, he's cool. cool. What was your problem with, with Jay? You, you were just defending Fezzy? Listen, the main part, number one, yes, obviously, my loyalty lies number one with the show. Always. As it should. Uh, thank you, Jivak. Uh, you got it, brother. That sounds almost like Who thank said you, that? Jay. Fez. Oh, yeah. hmm. I, we're, uh, we're losing you there. See, that was my problem with the guy. He never talked to me on a good cell phone. I hate cell phones. Radio has changed so much since cell phones. People used to just call on a phone, and you would do a fucking break and then go home. <laughs> Fez, previously yes. unlocked. Oh, hold on, I'll these two have got to work it out. No, I'll ask, you, I'll ask you. Seriously, I want, I want you two to work it out. There's nothing to work out. We're cool. What is happening? You still cool, Fez? Yeah. Why wouldn't he be? Well, you know what? I'm feeling myself. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just wondering if there's another shot coming across my bow. There's not. Like, it's like. Well, you got a bow? <laughs> <laughs> Only when I meet the queen. Do you really. <laughs> Go ahead. The line of the day. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to tag it. No, I'm going to let it go. <laughs> do, you really, do you really think that I might, like, just come out of, like, this is some character, and I might just come out of it and hammer you? I don't know. There was, uh, there was a bodybuilder magazine. There was roses. <laughs> there was a nice card. I don't know. I had the roses in the card, and I walked past the newsstand. I saw Black Belt magazine. I go, that's actually funny. It's kind of funny. I'll bring that up, too. <laughs> uh, who, to look what it is. The Daily Later. Later, what do you got for us, buddy? <laughs> Hey, Jay, can you do a Jeremy Coleman? Fez oh, jeez. Oh, Fez had a... Jeez. Fez tried to do something. Tried to be part of a fucking bit today. It fell apart. I had a botch bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're moving back. I, I predict this on Monday, Fez. You move back up to third mic. After Jay gets back on the plane. No, why do you, you do find that find yourself him? back at third mic. Why do you do that You did it first, Mr. I don't Hollywood. see him crying. Shut up, you redheaded. <laughs> you did it first, Mr. Hollywood. Don't you talk to Ron Bankton. Fez, did I ever make you cry before? Um, you want to do bring back a version of Make Me Cry where we'll just have comics lined up <laughs> one after another till you start fucking sobbing? Here's Bobcat Goldthwait. I'd rather not. I'd rather. I would love to fucking do this. 
Next time you're in, we'll get Ant to come in and we'll play Make Me Cry. Fez will we'll wheel him in on a fucking chair. And then just have Nick DePaulo. You're done. <laughs> Nick DePaulo. <laughs> Thirty seconds is the over under. <laughs> all right, that's it for us. Fezzy, you're all better now. Yes, I appreciate you, Jay Moore, bringing uh, man, roses Fezzy. and a lovely card black and a uh, and a black belt magazine with half nude med in it. Thank uh, you. <laughs> special uh, thanks to Dean and Barb. They can be trusted. Uh, here's another email. Hey, buddies, like to say I don't think the thing between Fez Fez and JJ is over. That's Fez Watley and Jay Moore. Today on ONA, uh, Leota and Moore were on, and after a while, Opie wasn't saying anything. JJ finally asked Opie if he's sick. Opie said, nah, I'm just listening. JJ responded with, what are you, fezzing? All right, so, you know, he he acts like he likes to make nice, and then the comments start again. Do we have this? All right, let's take a quick listen. Is he sick? Uh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm just, why? What have you heard? <laughs> he hasn't said anything. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just enjoying today. Uh, yeah. He's fezzing. Hey, I, what, did Leota ask him if he was sick? Yes. Yeah. Wow. That was yeah. It. And then he was. Fuck you, Ray Leota. How's that? <laughs> How's that fucking sound? Good fellas and out. That's it. And Don't then fucking come in here acting <laughs> like that. One time, that fucking one of those chefs got uh, said. Why doesn't Fez talk more, too? Now we always hate him. Yeah, Alton Brown. Yeah, we've always yeah. hated Alton Brown for fucking putting the pressure on Fez. And oddly enough, he just reenacted the scene in Goodfellas that he, when, when they're, they're, they're like, how come he doesn't talk anymore? <laughs> and he's like, I'm just listening. Why don't you talk more? Say something. What the fuck kind of weird shit would he just well, I would just say we just murdered someone. <laughs> and I'm sick. The guy's still alive in my fucking trunk kicking. That's why I'm not talking. And, why everybody else is eating pasta. Yeah, and Opie has Anthony, Jim, and fucking Jay Moore. Does Opie need to be yelling at Ray Liotta? He's, Opie's in the right. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> now I'm going to take a drink. Fuck Ray Liotta. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> All right, we got a problem with Mr. Ray Liotta. We're fucking calling out our buddy. Yeah, fuck you, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> You're going down, bitch. Has I'll he... fucking slap you around like you yeah. slapped Jason Patrick and Narc. Well, you know what? Jason Patrick fucking deserved that, though. <laughs> you know, I don't normally we stick did. up for Ray, Ray Liotta, <laughs> but fuck Jason Patrick, too. I don't have any fucking time for him. And maybe he wasn't fezzing. Maybe he just didn't want to step on anyone. But still, Jay Moore's bringing up fezzing. Well, that's everyone says that now <laughs> in the business. If there's dead air, it's called fezzing. I didn't know it was a radio term already. Yeah. Or if uh, a guy has a partner... That's not holding up. It's called carrying Fez weight. <laughs> don't even fucking worry about it. I don't think it has anything to do with you. I think it, it does. might. It has everything to do with him. <laughs> but I'm not going to let him know because he has a girl shrink. I was really tired last night. My wife asked me why so Fezzing-ish. <laughs> I was like, just get off my back, Ray Liotta. <laughs> tired has that's nothing to do with it, drunk. If you don't like when someone calls someone <laughs> yeah, now, reverse it. don't fucking Ray Liotta me. <laughs> I wish Opie would have fucking came up off the goddamn chair and smacked him in the fucking head with the heel of his boot. Opie's got a fucking... Take your shoe off and beat him like he's President Bush. He doesn't have to be Ray Leo's dancing monkey. <laughs> I'll say this right now. Yeah. If Opie or Mr. B ever want me to hit Ray Liotta, <laughs> you yeah. just text me 111. It's going to have to be one-handed because on. you're old oh, Jameson. Text me 111. <laughs> Hold on. i got to find Dave's number. <laughs> I have it listed under never call. <laughs> It's the Ron and Fez Show on XM202, Sirius 197.